good, uh, God, what is it? Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging. While coming at you with thoughts today in a peace shirt. It's a little chilly today. I'm here on the porch. It's kind of chilly yet muggy. I know that's a strange description, isn't it? Consider the source. I'm not going to do the uh, Hauserman 101 uh, Part 2 until tonight. I think that's best left for the evening, don't you? <laughs> Where I bloviate on about how I arrived at my current situation, which I don't even know what it is. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I wanted to tell you a couple of things. First of all, Katie, thank God for her, because I'm really stupid on certain things. <laughs> I'm just admitting it freely and openly here on my porch. Um, like, I've never filed for unemployment, which I did do successfully a few weeks ago. I told you about that. Uh, but in terms of keeping up with it or how to do this, that, and the other. Anyhow, she did it for me. Katie, the child's woman, the woman of the child. It sounds like the children of the corn or something. Uh, so that's underway and I have no idea how it works or it's just a weird, weird, weird situation, ladies and gents. Uh, what else, what did I, else did I want to fill you in on? Uh, hang on a minute. I can tell you a bit about, uh, the game for the weekend. I know it's only Wednesday. Do you know that I found myself on Monday night yelling out to Joel, um, I think I'm going to make taco casserole on Sunday. <laughs> I'm sure. I know it was Tuesday morning. And, I, you know, I'm, like, making these weird uh, way-ahead plans and stuff. It's just a strange life, a strange paradigm that we've uh, into which we've shifted. Okay, the game on Sunday is going to be really wild. I'm going to learn a ton of stuff because it's for a gal named Smoking and G-Sharp. I think that's the name. Used to be somebody else who I have actually known over the years by way of YouTube. And we've, you know, talked in private. Really interesting woman and into a lot of, like, neat stuff, like, kind of off the beaten path. Boy, this looks like it's weird. Oh, it just, the internet went off for a minute. You know what I'm saying? It disconnected for a sec. <laughs> um, so, she's into, like, no Nostradamus, Nostradamus, Amadeus, Amadeus. No, that's not it. Um, and things like that that I know nothing about. Zodiac Jazz. Sounds like a band. Um, you know, just this, that, and the other. So it's going to be really fascinating for me because I am kind of illiterate when it comes to that and when it comes to filing unemployment, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be quite the situation. My boss, of course, is reminding me about Mother's Day, the Mother's Day paper, and all this jazz. I did write my column. I got another nameless, faceless business, business owner of the week. I call it N... Wait... N-F-B-O-W, Nameless, Faceless, Business Owner of the Week, to go in and then I do an introduction. I'm kind of blunt in my introductions, just basically smacking people around, telling them to back away from the TV and do some research. Hey, the time to be sweet's over, I think. Although I try to be sweet because a lot of people that look at these videos are what they call normies. I just learned that word recently, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm veering off. Let me bring it back. Uh, hang on. Oh, yeah. Um, so, it wasn't a very long uh, piece that this nameless, faceless business owner of the week wrote, but we were able to stretch it out a little bit, and she approved it, and boom, it's going to the next paper. That's what I'm doing. As long as we're online, I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to give people a voice. So, if you own a business in this area, anywhere in Western Crawford County, I don't even care, the whole state, the whole county, the whole state, um, just contact me and... Uh, my email address is hauserman46 at gmail.com, and we can um, maybe work you in, oh, good Lord, to the next uh, issue of the world-famous community news that's now online only. And, you know, let's face reality, ladies and gentlemen, I just have to be blunt. It's Normally, it's about 4,000, like, physical papers that you hold in your hand. I don't know how better I can put it because it's kind of old-fashioned. Um, and that's on top of people sharing them and, you know, that's by subscription. And then my boss puts out copies at businesses and all this jazz and just going online only. I don't know. I'm old fashioned and I think other people might be in this respect where, I don't know about you, but I like to hold a book in my hand and read it or a paper and flip through the pages and do all that stuff that is uh, almost gone like the wind. Uh, okay. Okay, back to the normies. Yeah, I just learned this word recently. Uh, it's kind of strange that I would just learn it because I've been looking into um, alternative research. You know, I'm just going to start calling it real research because it is real research. The other stuff's fake. 
in my view, anything you get from like CNN or some crap like that, or just the, the establishment in general. There's an establishment in every walk of life. Uh, once I figured that out, it made things a lot easier for me to, um, I don't know, it, just, it fell into place more for me, if that makes sense. I mean, there's a medical establishment, there's a scientific establishment, there's a political establishment, there's a historical establishment, there's a, I don't, mathematical, I doubt it, I don't know, I think two and two is four. Who knows at this point, ladies and gentlemen. But anyhow, people that just go along with the establishment, I guess, are called normies. Yeah. Just learned it the other day, and now I've used it. I've used it here, and I've used it in some private correspondence with um, some people uh, with whom I am feral, friends in real life. I think that's all. I'm just rambling on at this point. Um, I'm going to be working for the paper today and maybe doing a project. That pantry was something. Oh, by the way, speaking of pantry, it used to be the pantry where we kept the food. Uh, so we still call it that, even though we don't keep the food in there. Because Kate asked me, where the heck do you keep your food? It's because it doesn't have any food in it. <laughs> um, and I wrote back, um, I said, we live on love only. And then I, of course, told her the truth a while later. But yeah, because uh, we do the canning and all that jazz. It, I don't know how it happened, but it just flipped over. and we, It's not really a pantry anymore, but I call it a pantry, and I'm going to continue to call it a pantry. And that is my right as a citizen. Hey, you got to have some rights left, don't you? Okay, Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Join me, join others. Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. Remember, war is a racket. Don't take my word for this. Check out General Smedley Butler and what he had to say. Venus isn't over there right now, ladies. No, it might be. Like, if we had an eclipse or something, it would probably be there, I guess. Right, Venus? She's got it. Yeah, baby, she's got it. I don't really know the words. Okay, bye.